In this example, we're going to solve a story problem and go through the steps needed to solve the problem. The problem reads, the perimeter of a single tennis court is 210 feet. If the length of the court is 3 feet less than triple the width, find the dimensions of the court. Solve using a system of two equations. So when I first start a story problem, I read it and I ask myself, what is the story problem asking? In this case, it's asking me to find the dimensions of the court, which I know means the length and the width. So since I'm solving using a system of two equations, I will have two unknowns. So my first step is always to define my variables. And in this case, I think I will choose to let w equal width and l equal length. And that's my choice. I can always use x and y or other variables. But since it's a rectangle, um, a tennis court's a rectangular shape, I'm going to go ahead and use width and length. So if I'm thinking of a, a tennis court, it'll have width and length. Okay. The second step after defining my variables is to write my system of equations. So I know I'm going to need two equations in order to solve this problem, since I have two unknowns. So if I read my uh, problem that I was given, I'm trying to find information to create two equations. The first sentence says that the perimeter of the tennis court is 210 feet. Well, I know for a rectangle, the perimeter is the distance around, and it, and it would be 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So that would be my first equation. 2 times the length plus 2 times the width equals the perimeter, which in this case is 210 feet. To find my second equation, I read on, and it says the length of the court is 3 feet less than triple the width. So I don't know anything about the width, but I know the length in comparison to the width. So I know that the length of the court is 3 feet less. So that will help me set up my second equation. The length is, and remember, the equal sign it often goes in place of the is in the sentence. Three feet less than triple the width. Well, I know triple the width is like three times the width. And three feet less would be subtracting three from that amount. Remember when you say three feet less, it's always subtracting three at the end. Less thans come at the end of the problem. So now I have to decide how to solve my system. I have two equations, so now I'm going to solve. And I can choose either to use the substitution method or the addition method. In this case, it's set up for substitution pretty easily because I already have one variable isolated. So I think I'm going to use substitution here. And in doing that, I'll take the expression I have for L, 3w minus 3, and I will substitute that in for L into the other equation. So I'll have 2 times the length, and in for length I'm going to put 3w minus 3, plus 2 times the width, equals that 210 feet. Now at this point I'm in a good spot because I have an equation that just has one unknown and I know how to solve that. I'll use my distributive property to simplify the left hand side. 6w minus 6 plus 2w equals 210. Combine like terms, 6w plus 2w is 8w, minus 6 equals 210. I'm going to add 6 to both sides of the equation, so I can eliminate the 6 on the left, and I'll have 8w equals 216. And finally, I'm going to divide by that coefficient, that 8, and I will get w equals 216 divided by 8, which is 27. So now I've got a value for the width. Now I want to find a value for the length. I know from one of my first equations that the length equals 3 times the width minus 3. So I can put in 27 now for the width minus 3 and simplify and evaluate to figure out what that is going to be. So I'll have 3 times 27, which is 81 minus 3. 78. So now I have an answer, and my answer is that I have the dimensions are 27 feet by 
78 feet. Or I could say the width is 27 feet, the length is 78 feet. Okay, I want to make sure I have units on my answer, and I've answered all parts of the question, the dimensions. If I was going to check this answer, I would take one of my original equations. Um, well, I can check it into both original equations, my answer. But since I just used this uh, second equation to find the 78, I would choose the first equation, the 2 times the length plus 2 times the width equals 210, which is uh, our definition for perimeter. So I'd have 2 times my length, which was 78, plus 2 times my width, which was 27. And I'm saying, is that equal to 210? This is my check. 2 times 78 is 156. And 2 times 27 is 54. And indeed, when I add those up, I get 210. So 200, 210 on both sides means that my answer satisfied that condition.